Hello and welcome back to the Niagara 2. Randy is still nursing his ear blockage and will play it safe by sitting this dive out as well. He will, however, be enjoying watching our bubbles while on snorkel. This is our final dive with Divers Den out of Tobamori, Canada. And finally, the sun has decided to come out. Unfortunately, this fleeting glimpse of sunlight is all that we will get to enjoy while in Tobamori, as we will be making our six hour journey back to Erie, Pennsylvania once we get back to shore. For half of the group, this is our third dive on the Niagara 2. As for the other half, it's their first, and we've really talked it up as the diver's ultimate playground. At the stern of the ship, their propeller's been removed, but divers can swim through to show perspective of how massive the rudder is. Now coming up over the stern rail, I swim over the deck and head towards the stack. The stack is anchored in place with four thick cables. From here I descend down into the engine room. I look up to see the sun peering through the stack and several of the holes that were cut out to allow divers access to the shipwreck. And then I continue on through what once was the heart of the vessel. Now I swim into what I believe could be the captain's quarters. Looking out the porthole and towards the bow of the ship, I think of what life would have been like sailing the Great Lakes on this vessel. On the wall hangs a list of fire and lifeboat procedures. And behind me a horrific creature lurks silently. Regaining my composure, I head over to a crew's bunk room. Other than a few small patches of muscles and a shallow layer of silt, this room looks to be in near working order. Next I swim forward towards the bow of the ship. A converted sand sucker, she is still outfitted with ropes and pulleys and cables and even movable levers and buttons. Mike points out a police decal to Peter, who's a retired Pennsylvania State Trooper. Inside the bow, somebody has also sunk a jet ski. And I hear there's also a piano somewhere inside the wreck, though I haven't seen it myself. Heading aft towards stern, the pilot house comes into view. One of the many advantages of being underwater is I can forgo all the many stairs and head straight for the gangway. When I come out, 
I notice this eerie cloud of silt hovering over the stern. And now it's time to end our dive on the Niagara 2 and make our way towards surface. Good job, Michael.